You'd be hard pressed, I mean this seriously, to find another comedian who makes me laugh any harder than this man. He has recently co starred in the movie's Toy Story and Casino and is touring this month with Joan Rivers. Please welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This is just uh, one comedian talking to another, but you uh, undoubtedly have the best timing I've ever heard of a comedian in, in my generation. I mean, <laughs> you stun me. You're, I just have to tell you that from a technique standpoint. You, nobody makes me laugh as hard as you with timing jokes. Fine. <laughs> oh, man. There's nobody I'd rather be pissed on than you. Well, that's what I do. I... I always work on the stage with my fly open. <laughs> a no, short nice. act. Okay, now. Uh... <laughs> How long have you been doing the, uh, well, some people call it insult thing, but I think that is to. Well, a good, a good 35 years and staying alive, you know, moving. Oh, there's a seal. <laughs> now, see, nobody else can get away with that. If I say that, people go, what the fuck's that line? But, uh... <laughs> You don't have to say that. You just make up your own alphabet. <laughs> I, I was backstage. I thought I was in Pakistan. I didn't know. You're so bright, and I come from the street, and you're dropping all these big words, and I'm back there going, what? <laughs> you're a bright man. You really are. And you, you got a big future because you can hear this crowd, the way they respond, especially the black chick over there going, he knows it all. <laughs> There's a black chick over there. Well, if she's not black, you fell into a bucket of M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Gauss! Let me have a smell of that, too. No wonder you smell furniture with that stuff. God. Liquid amyl nitrate, Homer Formby. All right, uh... <laughs> Gotta drop that on the wife tonight. <laughs> when she gets real horny, I'll say, Nick, how about a little Nick on nitro nitrate? <laughs> You've been vacationing with Newark too long, baby. Yeah, Get the well, game here. He's good. He carries the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> now, how does the act play out in the hinterland? I know in big cities, they kind of, uh, everybody likes the edginess and that. But when you get out amongst the proletariat in real small town America, do well, they... you know, no, they're pretty good. Except once in a while you hear a guy, hey, Jew, when are you going to get rolling? <laughs> so, uh... No, not really. I, I have a habit of wearing the armband, so it annoys me. <laughs> now, did, uh, when you were a uh, young Jewish man, did you ever suffer any discrimination that would push you in this uh, to kind of laugh at uh, people's differences? No, no, no. I, I find people are people, and I always, I always laughed at life. I always laughed at people, blacks, whites, beige, blue. I don't care what the hell they are. People are, people are funny, and, and, and if, you, if you hit them right and you exaggerate, we exaggerate all our insecurities, you know. Right. As I, as I look at you now, the, the white sweat socks and the smart pants and the wonderful jacket, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a joke. That's, you know, some people say insult. They gave me that title, insult, right. which I'm not too crazy about, but I live with it. After 35 years, I go along with it. But uh, the way it's not insult, it's putting somebody on and, uh, like you do and, and, and laugh about life. That's, what I, that's pretty much well, what Well, that's I why I didn't want to refer to it as insult earlier yeah. because I think it's so much more than that. It, yeah, well, a lot of people, they, you know, they say, oh, he's going to kill you, insult, you know. If you weren't deft with that, though, that's all they ask of somebody who does something that walks the edge like you do is that you're competent at it. And really, you're so laser quick on your feet that uh, you get away with it. If you were clumsy with that, it would all bog down. Don't you sense that? Well, that... sure, Dennis. The whole idea is not so much the joke, because I can't tell jokes. You know, the guys say, get up at a party, Rickles, and tell a joke. I'm dead. And I used to do impressions like a million other comedians and bad jokes. I couldn't. And I started talking to the audience. So I never could tell a joke. I just talk about things, and it becomes a joke. You know, mm -hmm. this show's a joke. <laughs> but, uh, no. <laughs> Gonna, can we take some phone calls from hey, the nice people? Whatever you want. All right, babe. Uh, we got line seven. We've got Tanya from Wichita. Tanya? Yeah, hi, Dennis. How you doing? How are you, Tanya? 
Fine. Say hi to Sin Q and the rest of the SLA. <laughs> uh. Yeah, my question is for Don. I'd like to know how he's th seen things change in the business racially during the span of his career. How things changed in Korea? How have things... <laughs> how... They're short of bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> what did she, what did she is say? Very quick. How things have changed in your career. Oh, my career? Yeah, I thought you said career. How have things changed racially during the span of his career? Uh, how things changed in my career? Well, I'm working this. <laughs> And a scant two years ago, Tanya, he couldn't have got anywhere near this fucking show. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Line three, we've got Pablo from Nevada City, California. Pablo? Yeah, I have a comment. I don't care what ethnic background or race or whatever you are, music combines us all. And I'd just like to say congratulations to the Night Union High School Jazz Band. <laughs> Crazy Mexicans. Uh... <laughs> Line... <laughs> I, I guess his mule's sick. <laughs> Line eight, we got William from Orlando, Florida. Go ahead, William. Hey, Dennis. I first of all want to say I'm glad to see you survived uh, Aspen last weekend. But hey, this is for Don. All right. Um, Don, uh, are you planning on playing anything else besides any other vegetables this upcoming year besides a potato? Oh, you mean since Toy Story? Oh, oh yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Most yeah. of you don't know Don played a vibrator in Toy Story. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the way my marriage after 30 years, I just phone it in. For <laughs> I lay on the bed and she gives it one of these. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you get to be my age, you find that exciting, your leg starts to go up. <laughs> But, no, I find my career has, uh, has changed in the sense that, uh, well, uh, people are starting to realize now politically incorrect is not a terrible thing. But I'm very happy the way things have gone for me. And now, especially after doing casino and carrying De Niro, you know, it was fun. You know. You've always been a good actor, man. But I must say, beyond acting, you're one of the best comedians who ever worked. I, I'm a real big fan. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Dennis. I'm going to do the news. Can you stay for a second? Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen.